Hey Sunrise family, I'd just like to share with you guys a few thoughts as well as some verses from 1 Peter 2. Um, you know, times like this that we find ourselves in have the potential for either good or for evil. A time to either deepen our faith in Christ or that we can fall into fear. And if you're falling into fear every once in a while, it, you're not alone and, and you're not lost. Jesus is still calling you to faith. I find myself there um, in moments throughout the day when, when I have find myself having expectations of, of what I would want things to be like or expectations that things would be progressing further along than they are and that maybe we would be able to meet together quicker than, than it seems like we're going to be able to. And in those times, I can feel fear rising up in my spirit, in my heart, because I'm fearing that those things that I wanted, that I was, that I was grasping onto, that I'm not going to get them. And when I, when I find myself in those fearful times... I find myself wanting to react in, in either impatience or anger or maybe unhelpful words in times because, because I'm afraid that I'm not going to get what I've wanted. And in those times, that's when I hear Jesus calling me to faith, calling me to believe that what he is doing and how he is at work, even if I cannot see it or understand it, that it is good and that I don't need to hold on and grasp to things because Jesus says, you can trust me. I will never leave you or forsake you. I am at work for good in this world. I am calling this world to repentance. And so as I'm, I'm just, I am processing this time and the fact that we've been in this period of time for five or six weeks now with no real end date set. And I am hearing Jesus call me to patience, to rely on him in faith in this season and and this these verses from first peter popped into my head as i was thinking about this um this is first peter 2 verse 11 and following beloved i urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which wage war against your soul keep your conduct among the gentiles honorable so that when they speak against you as evildoers they may see your good deeds and glorify god on the day of visitation be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom to cover up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the emperor. And in this time, I just, I personally get the sense from God and what I'm hearing in his word that I need to be patient and helpful in this time, in this season, knowing that I have faith in him and that his work that he is doing is good. So I need to let go of those expectations I have, let go of those things that I am grasping onto, that I see, that I think are good, and hold on to the things that God says is good. Loving our neighbor as ourself, loving God wholly, living out the fruits of the Spirit, peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control, that we would be loving neighbors and loving citizens in this world, that people may see Christ through us. So go and be lights in this world. Live in faith and not in fear. But know that if you are falling to fear, if you are living in fear, know that Jesus is there, meets you, and calls you to live in faith once again. So let us live in faith and let us be lights in this world.